Hey, Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com here. In this video, I want to show how we can um, animate elements as they come into view in Oxygen using Yellow Pencil. Yellow Pencil is a plugin that can be used to um, make CSS edits live uh, on any page, any WordPress page. And it's not something that is uh, specific to Oxygen, but uh, I'll just show you how it works on a site that is built using Oxygen. Okay, so here I have the home page of the site and uh, let's say I would like to add some entry animations. Uh, for example, let's say I want this uh, start now unlearn more buttons to slide in from the right to left. So once you have the plugin installed and activated, it adds a new menu item in the WordPress toolbar, admin bar. So to edit this, um, page, I mean make changes to the CSS of elements on this page, you just click on that button and it opens up this panel. So by default <clears throat> it will be in um, the selector mode so you can just simply click on the element that you would like to make CSS changes to and uh, the ones that we are interested in is the animation part. So I click on animation and here I select the type of animation. Uh, so let's say space on left. You can see a preview of that um, on the page. How about slide and right? Okay, so that's the animation I'm interested in. And we'll save it. and exit out of yellow pencil and when I reload you can see the animation taking effect. So let's add another animation to this particular text to make it um, fade in from bottom to top. So I'm going to edit this with yellow pencil and I'm going to select this um, element, go to animation and uh, let's um, fade in up okay that looks good so next i would like to add animation to uh, each of these boxes so i'm going to click on this go to animation and So let's also make this appear from bottom to top. So that will be thing slide, slide and up. Okay. And next we'll add the same animation to the second dev in the column. So animation. Fair enough. Okay, but I would like this animation to start sometime after the first one has finished. So here what we can do is we can add an animation delay of say 0.5 seconds. So when we come to um, this particular section that has these three columns, the first left block is going to start animatic instantly and after 0 0.5 seconds or half a second, this animation will start. And then I'm going to select the right block, go to animation and select the same, <clears throat> same animation, but this time I'm going to say one second. Okay, so you can click this play button to see that in action, I'm going to save it. And by the way, you don't have to close out of this to see. You can just click this um, live preview and it opens up like that. So here you can see the animation of these three columns. Okay. So let's add um, one animation to start browsing button over here. So I'm going to go back here and select the button and go to animation. 
Oh, by the way, you can also click on this button called create animation and you can create custom animations using this. So the way this works is that um, scene one is the initial state. Scene two is the final state in this case. If we had more scenes, that will be like an intermediary stage. So in each, in each stage, you would basically set the CSS properties. And um, as the animation runs, uh, those properties will be animated from one stage to the next stage. I'm not going to do that in here. <coughs> I just set a simple animation for this to, you can also I think type in here. Yeah. So let's do a simple, how about fade in from, fade in up. Yeah, that looks good. And finally, for this box, I will set another animation. Something like a flip. Okay, flip Y. And do the same flip Y for this right box. <clears throat> and for the middle one, let's do a flip X. Like that, and we'll save it. I'm going to go back to my home page and refresh and you can see the animations. Now if you find that some animation is getting triggered very fast and you're not able to actually really see it animating, um, you could um, change the, yeah, you can change the delay. So animation delay is basically when it is going to start, when the animation starts. If you want it to start instantly, you set it zero. If you want it to start after some time, you can change the value. Animation duration is for how long the animation runs. So let's say, so I feel that uh, this animation of this uh, button row moving from right to left is kind of too quick. I can make it slow by selecting, yeah, so selecting the button row and going back to animation and I can change the duration of the animation to say 1.5. So I can preview this by play. So now you can see that animation happens a little slower and you can also see the preview like that. Okay, so I believe um, using this plugin, Hello Pencil, to create animations is one of the easiest methods that I know of. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.